Well, my name is Richard Rue, and I'm the author of Bootleggers, Booze, and Bus, Prohibition in Kern County, 1919-1933. I'm here in the basement of uh, the U.S. Post Office in downtown Bakersfield on 18th Street, and behind me here, we have the door to the room that served as the headquarters for the United States uh, Bureau of Prohibition uh, from essentially around 1925 to 1933. Prohibition officers in the United States had a great difficulty uh, enforcing the 18th Amendment. First off, they were undermanned and they were also uh, underfunded. The state of California probably had a tougher uh, job at uh, enforcing prohibition than, than other states. At any given time, there were about 36 agents that were assigned, 10 of which were uh, assigned to permanent clerical and desk duties. So statistically, that means that each agent was uh, uh, responsible for approximately 4,300 square miles of land and 95,000 people. The United States government uh, depended heavily upon local law enforcement agencies in order to help enforce the 18th Amendment. Agencies such as the Bakersfield Police Department, the Kern County Sheriff's Department, as well as the District Attorney's Office. In fact, uh, of the 2,100 uh, arrests that were made in Kern County, about 1,500 of them were conducted by the Bakersfield Police Department as well as the Kern County Sheriff's Department. Now, because of that fact, local law enforcement agencies were integral to prohibition. Um, that was the case on December 19th, 1924. On that date, uh, a 48-year-old uh, uh, special investigator for the district attorney's office, a man by the name of William Washington Wiles, was accompanied by several other officers on a raid in northern Kern County uh, near the town of Woody. At that location, a 31-year-old suspect by the name of Louis Lowe ambushed William Wiles and shot him to death with a 32 caliber Savage semi-automatic handgun. The other officers quickly subdued Lowe and word was sent back to Bakersfield. And over the next several months, uh, Louis Lowe was put on trial uh, for murder. Uh, during that trial, he claimed that he had fired only in self-defense. And after two trials, uh, he was convicted of manslaughter and sentenced to 10 years in Folsom Prison. And as it turns out, William Washington Wiles, who had served as uh, a constable in Wasco for eight years and one year with the district attorney's office, would be the only law enforcement officer in Kern County that would be killed during Prohibition. Okay, so William Wiles was really local guy, local, local guy. cop, right. working on the Prohibition task force. Yes, and so he worked in conjunction with the Bakersfield Police Department as well as the Kern County Sheriff's Department. In fact, if I remember correctly, that one year that he was involved um, with the District Attorney's Office, he was involved in something like 185 uh, different raids that were conducted. You had somewhere in the neighborhood of about sixty thousand or so dollars worth of fines that he uh, was well aided in in collecting in all if you really look at prohibition for our city it was a big money maker um, when fines were collected in the city of bakersfield 25 percent of the the fines went back to law enforcement the rest of the money went to the general fund and it was stated that uh, the city of bakersfield was making anywhere between about forty thousand or so dollars a year in fines alone the, the year 1924 was the most prolific year of arrests in Kern County uh, during Prohibition. Organized crime wasn't, wasn't really the issue. You had a lot of people that were working by themselves. You did have some instances where organized crime from Los Angeles was hinted as operating inside of Kern County, but they never proved the connections. They never showed it. In fact, that, uh, we really didn't have the, the instance of violence in Kern County like, let's say, Illinois had, you know, in Chicago or back in New York. Uh, you know, I, I think early on in Prohibition, uh, I remember ran across uh, an instance where one person was, was murdered because he ratted somebody out. Uh, another instance, uh, out by Buena Vista Lake, another person was murdered. But really, those are the only two murders besides Mr. Wiles um, that, um, that I came across during, during Prohibition in Kern County.